What came first, the protein or the egg? Does it matter? Either way, the yolk's not on us. We're stuffing my devilish eggs with delicious, low-fat alternatives like curried squash. I'm David Jackson. Forty years ago, I was cooking in swanky hotels and winning awards from the American Culinary Federation. Thirty years ago, I hosted a nutrition-conscious cooking series for the Hospital Satellite Network. Ten years ago, despite half a century of good eating habits, I found out that I wasn't immortal. And I'm not alone. Can doctors' orders to moderate salt, fat, and refined carbs share our plates with mouth-watering gourmet recipes? Yes, they can. Cut a large acorn squash in half and scoop out the innards. Drizzle the squash and rub with olive oil, season with a little salt, and freshly ground pepper, and dust with a light coat of curry powder. Then into the oven at 375 for at least 30 minutes. Then scoop out the flesh, pile on a clean cutting board, and mash thoroughly with a fork. Okay, one more egg, hard-boiled egg to slice, and pop out the yolks. We don't need them. We're stuffing them with something much better. All we're going to do is take a nice portion and stuff it right in the center like that. Plump it up. Lovely. This squash is so delicious. It's so sweet, naturally, and with a little bit of salt and pepper and the curry powder when it was roasted in the oven makes it absolutely incredible. And one more. And the best of all is some crushed pistachio. Coarsely crushed, that adds a crunch to the softness of both the egg white and the squash, and it's marvelous. There we go. And there is one trio of our delicious, devilish eggs. Now, let's do the same thing with the guacamole. A zesty guacamole filling for our devilish eggs is quite easy to make. Mash it all up in a shallow bowl with a squeeze of lime juice, add a pinch of salt, a little freshly ground pepper, a tablespoon or so of finely minced onion, half a finely minced jalapeno pepper for some zip, and also some chopped fresh cilantro. Blend it all up thoroughly and reserve for the egg assembly. In testing these recipes, I decided I can't decide between the squash and this lovely guacamole as my favorite. They're both excellent. Now, this is very zesty, and we're just going to... Oh, that's a little bit much. There we go. The lime, the cilantro, the chilies, and the rich, creamy avocado goes great in here. So, we're filling three egg white cups with that. There we are. Now, one neat little garnish. Get a fairly good-sized radish and cut one or two thin strips, or three, and we're going to make some triangles, just like that. Again, as with the squash, the pistachio added crunch. We're doing the same thing, just slide it in like a little flag. Crisp, fresh, and sharp. Next is smoked salmon, Japanese style. A little dab of soy, about four drops of soy in each cup. Not much, got a lot of sodium, so it's just for the flavor. Then, a neat little trick. Just as with the radish, and the 
pistachio, we're going to use, for a little zip, wasabi peas. Very crunchy. We're just going to smash them up. There we go. Plenty of zing and crunch. And a little bit of that in there. All right. And then the salmon. One little sort of one ounce slice is about all we need. And we're just going to roll it up into a rosette and plop it right in there. There we are. And finally, maybe just a little bit of chive. See if we can find a place to put that in there. There we go. And it is definitely party time. Unlike traditional deviled eggs, which are tasty but stuffed with fat and calories, these devilish eggs discard their yolks and plump up their whites with a variety of nutritious, flavorful, and decorative stuffings that create a party for our eyes and our taste buds.